So I'm joined here by Anthony Wong of Genis and uh, Jesper from uh, LC Tech. Uh, now, uh, there's a product here that we first saw in its prototype form um, at IBC, and that's the Genis, what are you calling this? The We're calling it the end, the END. <laughs> the, the, the end. The electronic neutral density. The end density. is nigh. Oh, very close. <laughs> okay. Electronic neutral density. Uh, and it's going to be hopefully launched by NAB this year. And this is a Genus product, um, but uh, yes, but you're here because you, you're, your company is behind the, the glass, the optics of this, is that Correct. It? So I'm with Elsitec. We're a manufacturing company based in Sweden. So we do optical components based on liquid crystals. Full in-house manufacturing from early R&D up to volume. And we have been doing this for over 25 years, but this is a new field for us. Okay, so before we get too much further, in very basic form, what is this? This is a lens adapter which goes basically from EF mount lenses to E-series uh, Sony mount. It's going to have various things incorporated into it. Uh, the first thing is, of course, um, it can be used as a manual device, uh, controlling the electronic neutral density manually. Uh, this mount has basically the LC Tech technology inside, and it will allow us through the uh, application of uh, a voltage to the liquid crystals right. uh, to change the level of ND on a variable basis. So we'll go from three to eight or ten stops right. um, on an electronic basis. Okay, and then um, before we get into the filter, we'll do that in more detail in a second. You can also do other functions. Uh, so what's this thing? Well, this is uh, a wireless receiver actually, and I have a, a transmitter in my pocket, but basically this will also allow you to do uh, remote focus and iris control and aperture. So it's a multi-purpose product solution. And if you are using it in remote applications, we do have a remote wireless phone. So technically, um, how is this actually working? So we invented a new technology and patented it that gives very wide viewing angles. So we have nice uh, transmit, uh, uniform transmittance properties, small color shift. If you put glass between the back of a lens um, and the sensor, generally you get a, a back focus shift. Um, how have you dealt with that on, on this, this one here, I think? <laughs> okay. Um, how, how have you dealt with that with this adapter? It has been compensated for by the, uh, changing the flange distance. Is that what you're asking? Yes, correct. Yeah. So now infinity on this lens should be about infinity? Definitely. Or? So it's not the standard lens adapter. The adapter itself has been optimized to work with our filter. Okay. Um, other things, how do you power this? It's powered through the camera. Um, plug straight in. Off you go. If we do uh, make this lens adapter for other cameras, then we'll have to consider other powering options. Uh, so at the moment it's just EF. Oh, no, um, an EF to NEX. Yeah, that's correct. At the moment. Um, this would be the first product that's launched and subject to our reviews subject to our um, current demand will then look at manufacturing this with other cameras in mind. And it works full frame and super 35? Uh, this will work as it's stated. Okay. EF2E series. Um, and PL version, is that possible or will, will the PL optics hit the glass coming back into it? I don't believe anything will be a problem but we want to actually see the feedback from the first unit because it's taken us three, three years, years yep. to get this far. Um, because it's probably the first of its kind, uh, we want to gauge uh, client feedback first. There's a lot of people who've got so much to add um, to the operational effectiveness of this unit with us that we want to listen to them first and then we'll make some changes as necessary. Mm -hmm.